Hello everybody and welcome back to another Blender Made Easy tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to 3D scan your entire room using an app on your phone. Forget about modeling something, now all you need is a phone and an object that you want to scan. This app is crazy and it allows you to 3D scan almost anything and plus it's free. Look at this guy, he even scanned an entire house, like how do you even do that? Display.land recently reached out to me asking to review the app, so thank you for Display.land for sponsoring this video. Now let's get started with the tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to 3D scan your entire room. Then we'll be importing it into Blender, doing a little bit of cleanup, and rendering out an image. The first thing that you need to do is download the app using the link in the description. From there, just create an account, and then you can start scanning away. Scanning a single object is pretty simple, all you really have to do is rotate around an object pretty slowly. Scanning an entire room though is a little bit more tricky. What I found worked pretty well was to go along the perimeter of the room, scanning the opposite side. This tells the app the general layout of the room. From there you can get closer to get the finer details. Another thing to keep in mind is the scan doesn't really work well with the blank walls. If you are able to, make sure to put a poster, a picture frame, or a giant image of Andrew Price on the blank walls, and this will help the scan look a lot better. I didn't do this for my scan, so the wall didn't come out super good. There's also a progress bar down at the bottom, and you need to get this to at least the minimum for the scan to work. My suggestion though is to go a little further than that, and also go really slow. If you try to scan fast, it will not work and you will end up with weird stretching. After scanning the room for about 5 to 8 minutes, you can hit capture and give it a title. The next step is to upload the file and let it process. The processing can take about 5 to maybe a couple hours depending on how complicated the scan is. Once the file is done, you can hit publish and send the link to your email where you can download the file. And that's basically it, now we just need to jump into Blender and import the file in. Here we are in Blender and what we're going to do is select everything by pressing A and then X to delete them. Now we're going to import that file in. To do this you can go up to File, down to Import, and then click on Wavefront OBJ. Select that and navigate to where the folder is. Once you have found the folder you will see two different files, there will be an obj.mtl, don't select that one, select the obj file, just this one on the left. And then click on Import OBJ. This will take a second to import, once it's done calculating, we'll be able to see our room just like that. And if I press Z and go into material view, we will see the textures already applied just like that and that looks pretty cool. The next step is to rotate it so it's centered and then start deleting vertices that you don't need or you don't want. The ones on the side there are deleted and then I can go into sculpt mode and start smoothing out the edges. For this part, as you can see there, I used the smooth brush with a value of about 0.7 for the strength, and then I just smoothed out the entire model. Going around, I can select the entire loop, hit E to extrude, and then S0 to flatten it out. Keep smoothing the model until it looks good. For the camera, go ahead and add one in and position your view where you want, and then hit Ctrl Alt 0 to snap the camera to place. Select it and over in the camera settings, I brought the focal length down a little bit so we get a wider shot. A value of 30 works pretty well and as you can see here, we can render out an image and it looks pretty cool. So there you go guys, that is how you 3D scan an entire room using Display.Land. Thank you again to them for sponsoring this video and go check out the app, the link is in the description. It's super cool and it allows you to scan almost anything. This app is also like a social media. You can look at other people's scans and import those into your scene as well. Some of the scans that people have done are really good, so make sure you go check them out. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, click subscribe because for my next scan, I'm going to try to scan an entire city.